today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be talking about koi fish. For hundreds of years, these fish were kept by Chinese farmers in their rice fields as a source of food. Later, this practice was picked up by farmers in Japan who saw the potential of raising the carp as an ornamental species. Beginning in the early 1800s, the common carp was bred for color mutations, and the trend spread throughout Japan. Thus, the koi fish was born. It wasn't until 1914, however, that the world became aware of these colorful carps at an exhibition in Tokyo. Koi fish swam their way into the hearts of people across every continent, and today they are widely kept around the world. This surge in popularity has led to dozens of color variants, though their types can typically be broken down into somewhere around 20 different categories. The most common colors they display are white, orange, red, yellow, black, blue, and cream. And these can show up as solid colors, like the hikarimono variant, as spots, like the Tancho variant, and mottled markings, like the Bekko variant. They can even appear metallic and pearlescent. Koi fish can reach up to 3 feet in length if well cared for, and weigh around 30 pounds. For comparison, that's almost 3 chesters. They're omnivores and eat other fish and fish eggs, as well as vegetation and fruit if they can get a hold of it. Due to their standout colors in a natural environment, they are preyed upon by a multitude of animals, including waterfowl such as herons, as well as cats, foxes, otters, raccoons, and badgers. They breed during warmer months based on their geographical location, and those found in hotter climates may mate year-round. Eggs are laid and then fertilized, and anyone wanting baby koi had better go get them out quick, because the parents will actually eat the eggs. Ah yes, parenting at its finest. On average, it's accepted that the koi fish live about 50 years, but what's amazing is that they can live more than 200 years. In fact, the oldest recorded living fish was a koi fish named Hanako. She was born in 1751 and lived to be 226 years old. She outlived multiple generations of caretakers and survived both world wars as well as the Edo and Meiji periods of Japan, which, for the uninitiated, were times of great change and upheaval in Japanese history. Scientists were able to determine her age based on growth rings on her scales, much like the growth rings of a tree. Koi fish are a symbol of power and prosperity, as well as love and friendship. A Chinese legend tells the tale of a koi who swam upstream for many miles over waterfalls and through rapids to reach the dragon gate at the top of a mountain. Once the koi reached this sacred place, it became a great and powerful dragon. I, for one, love the idea of swimming dragons. How about you? Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about koi fish. What you need for this project is a marker pen, a pencil, an eraser, your palette of paints, crayons, you need an A3 piece of paper and you need a small sheet of paper to practice on. So we're going to do um, a little practice first on our koi fish um, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so get your A4 piece of paper and we're going to practice our koi fish. So what I want you to do is at the top of the page I'd like you to draw a circle and then from that circle we're going to draw a curved line going down. And we want a curved line going down because it's going to show that our fish is going to be swimming in the water. So from either side of the circle, I want a line heading down towards the tip of the end of that line. And then you are going to add the fins for me on either side, just below that little circle that you've done. Then we're going to add a little pointy part to the top of the circle where the face is. And then we're going to move on to the tail at the end of that pointy line. And there is your koi, basically. All you need to do now is add the fin in the middle of the body and you can add the eyes and then you need to erase those parts that you don't want like the circle that I'm showing you now. And that's your koi fish guys. And so what we can do is we're going to get onto our main piece of paper and then we're going to draw two or three koi fishes on the big piece of paper. So I've started one of my koi fish down at the bottom of my page and I've started with the circle. I've drawn a curved line in the middle of my circle going out and then I'm adding those details. I've got a line on either side of my circle. I've made the face pointy and I've added my fins and my tail. Now you can grab your eraser and erase those lines that you don't want on your fish. So around the circle, around the eye and that pointy part in the um, front part. And then you can add more detail like what we saw in the video of the spots on the koi fish. I'm now going to draw another koi fish and it's going to go in a different direction. Again, I start with the circle and then I draw my two lines on either side of my curved line. I add the point to the face and then I add my tail and my fins. And once you've done that, then what we can do is we can do the extra details and we can add some lily pads. Now we're seeing the koi fish from a bird's eye view, which means that we're seeing it from above. And so our uh, lily pad will be a circle with what looks like a pizza slice being taken out. So you can draw a 
circle and draw a pizza slice and then erase that little line and draw two or three or four lily pads um, on your picture and then you can grab your marker and you can outline your work. Right, when you've finished your picture with the outline, you just need to get your eraser and erase all of those marks. And then now it's time to the painting and the crayons. I'm going to start off with my crayons and I'm going to create some details on my lily pad. And then I'm going to create some details on my fish. Now remember the fish's colours are red and orange and black and white. And so I'm going to outline all of those areas and then I'm going to grab my paints and I'm going to fill in the whole picture with paint. I'm going to add some detail in the water and I'm going to do this by creating some circle swirls with the blue. I'm also going to do the circle swirls with the white and so when we paint on it we will be able to see the magic of the white the wax resist happen. And that's it guys, I hope you've had a wonderful time painting your koi fish. I can't wait to see what they look like. <laughs>